ah, 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 
okay? So a lot of you all, I'm feeling the energy of releases, but jumping right into something new, all right? So let's get into it. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the Ace of Spades, okay? Partner with the Jack of Diamonds. So some of you all, again, I feel as if there's the opportunity for something new or some type of renewal, but you don't trust it, okay? For some of you all, I heard also uh, <laughs> that some of y'all could be dealing with um, and. Aquarius or Pisces, I think I heard it for one of them too. That I'm in my bag, bitch. I'm on your ass, bitch. I'm in that new, new shit. You on that last year? Uh, bitch, I do pimp shit. Uh, oh, you on simp shit? Hey, he said you all about money. Yeah, I'm on that cash shit. Ah, Megan the Stallion, okay? So some of you all, um, could be in this space of just being in your bag. You're focusing on your own moves. You're focusing on your endeavors. You're focusing on expanding. However, some of you all got a damn opportunity coming in left field, boom, and you're looking at looking at it like, well, how the hell am I going to fit this in? For some of you all, there's a need for you not to get, get complacent on what it is, even the, thing, even the thing that you've built. You get into the space where your machine is pretty much – Driving itself. Your machine is working itself. So rather you're focusing on that particular thing, a lot of you all, there's a need for you all to step back, actually bask in the fruits of your labor, but not get too complacent in the basking in the fruits of your labor, but also not get too complacent in throwing all of your energy into work because there's a sense of you guys becoming overworked. But what I'm seeing here, for the most part, Aries, you don't know what to say yes to for some of you all. And for some of you all, you just don't know. You don't trust it. So you're allowing things to flow and show themselves um, how they're trying to present themselves into your life. Okay. So we're going to, damn, they tried to jump out quick. <laughs> we're going to dig into the oceans and tarot. Just to kind of see where your subconscious space is. Okay. So what messages do you have for my Aries for the month of October? Yes. The uh, endings. You guys are done with the suppressing things. You're releasing things during this time. For some of you all, you're holding on again. It's a need for you all not to become overworked, not to over overwhelm yourself, okay? So for some of you all, you're letting go of whatever it is that has been stressful, burdensome, tiresome. I'm hearing for some of you all and opening up to receive help, okay? I do feel the energy of help coming, Aries. A lot of you all are also in this space of in this space of releasing things. You're making energy for the new. You're making way for new energy to arrive, okay? So I do feel for some of you all. There's this sense of you standing courageous, okay? I do feel that a lot of you all are, there's this aspect of keep going, keep going, keep going, because whatever it is that you've been building, it is a time of harvest. So whatever it is that you've sown your seeds into, a lot of you all are going to see a lot of blessings come from that during this time, okay? You are the source. But there's also this energy of like a transmutation that needs to happen within your energy. For some of you all, it's not about fully releasing, it's about transmute because the energy that you're releasing for some of you all y'all when i got to digging in y'all shit it's some heavy shit i was kind of decided on if i was gonna go put me some wine tonight it's some heavy shit but i do feel like this is the in it puppy and for some of you all that could be going on as soon as you get to a point where you feel as if you're straight as, as, as if you have built something solid or you've gotten to a solid a solidified place some of you all may feel a bit discouraged when it comes to things coming in and interrupting your flow like, puppy, y'all see me just let him out. He was scratching the door. He wanted to go out. So I let your ass out. Go ahead, Sagittarius. Free yourself. But as soon as I get the get in my flow, he come. Boom. And I run into that happen as I drop the source card. For some of you all, it's not allowing anybody else to disturb your flow, but to remain focused on your intent. Focus on where it is, where and what area it is that you're trying to grow. And not allowing anyone to come in and disturb your flow because you are the source. Your intent. It's it's the art of alchemy. Turning your pain into power. For some of you all, you're musicians. For some of you all, you're artists, you're writers. For some of you all, you're ordained priests, you're spiritual teachers. There's some type of reality check or some type of perception shift that Aries is getting ready to have in the month of October. And I feel like you guys are going to tune everything out and go in the space of tuning into the self. And it's the self where you're receiving a lot of your answers from and a lot of your a lot of your uh, confirmations. For some of you all, you're finding silence in the space of a burdensome. Pretty much you're going, you're finding silence in your place of solitude, but a peaceful solitude in the space of this release of burdens during this time, okay? 
For some of you all moving forward and how you're going to move forward, how things are moving forward, how slow they're going. For some of you all, that is the damn burden. Spirit is saying transmute that. Instead of focusing on what's not going your way, instead of focusing on what's moving too slow, focus on the strategy around how we can transmute that. What have, not, what, what have you not done? In order to get something different or receive something different, you have to be willing to put in something different or do something different, Aries. Some of you all could be talking to some of some of you all who have a lot of fixed energy within your chart. That Taurus, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Some of you all, there's a need for you to submit to how things are coming, when things are coming, because you don't control that part. You only control the part that where you're allowing things to flow into your world. Because for some of you all, your blessings are coming from outside of you. They're coming from other people. So there's a need for you all to drop that damn pride because you can't buy shit with it. If someone comes in your life and say, Aries, let me help you with this. I notice that you carry a lot of these burdens. And you're like, no, I got it. No, the fuck you don't got it. Because at home, you stress the fuck out about how the hell you going to make this shit flow. Be real with yourself. You asking for help. You asking for this abundance. You cannot control how it's coming. Period. Period. All right. So let's get it. Puppy, you here to stay? Okay, you didn't lay it down, so. Guess she got bored. Wendy Williams wasn't giving you enough thrill in the living room. All right, so let's get it. <laughs> Aries, a lot of you all may also be experiencing a lot of paranormal activity during this time. There's this focus for some of you all on the root chakra, so there may be a lot of sexual energy that you have during this time. There's a need for you guys to channel it and use it towards something positive, especially for my Aries who have been in the space of, like, abstinence or celibacy. And my other Aries who been swerving and derving like me, be careful, okay? Because the energy for children, if you don't want to get pregnant, it's here, okay? Spirit, what message do you have? My beautiful Aries. For the month of October 2019. What can they expect in the month of October 2019? What do you have for my Aries? Let's just see you have my Aries. Yeah. Some of you guys could be reconciling possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For others of you, this could also have to do with making a decision between someone who you have children with or have some type of family dynamic with and a Scorpio. Okay. For others of you, this is um, an opportunity to reconcile, but you have to just you have to decide if you're going to actually um, co-create with the universe as far as a reconciliation to stay or are you going to actually reconcile to close the cycle out. Okay. I see some of you guys closing it out. If you're dealing with the Scorpio, some of you all could have recently reconciled with this person or this person could be coming in. Um, with you to reconcile after some type of transformation that they've recently gone through. This person could have legal, uh, legal issues that they're tending to. This person could also be experiencing issues with child support, okay? For some of you all who've been waiting for some type of court case to close out, I do see justice being in your favor in the month of October. Um, some of y'all are going to receive some unexpected child support. This could be having to pay it out for some of you all, I feel for my Aries men. But for my Aries women, some of you guys are receiving something in the mail unexpected in the month of October. And it's going to be from someone who you feel, who feels as if you've been defensive toward them or they've been having, or, or maybe you've been, either you've been defensive toward them or maybe they've been defensive toward you in the past. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys are going to finally drop the damn walls and take a damn leap of faith towards fixing the family situation. Just as it's in your favor. It's it's up to you. I feel like the decision is in your hands during this time to turn the karmic wheel, okay? Some of you guys could also be um, going into a higher level of commitment. So for those of you who have been dating um, someone for quite some time, you could be talk there could be talked about moving in together during this time. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus, uh, Aquarius, the Leo, or Scorpio. This person could be wanting to start something new or restart something new with you. They want to show you that they've changed Aries, but a lot of you guys don't trust it. Some of you guys are choosing to lay a situation completely to rest with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. Some of y'all are going to walk away from somebody who you have children with. And some of you guys are ending a situation with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in order to move towards something new. And this person could be trying to hold on to you, Aries. 
I definitely feel like some of y'all are going to leave this person on on, on, on red. Like, some of y'all not even going to give somebody an explanation of why you cutting them off. You feel as if you've already explained yourself in the past and you ain't getting paid to be no fucking tape recorder, so you're moving forward. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Because some of y'all are dealing with a very narcissistic energy that's trying to tell you, oh, no, you're not going nowhere. And some of y'all are like, oh, yes, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. I could make you a believer. Watch these Nikes work. <laughs> Watch these Nikes work. <laughs> Watch these Nikes work. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to show you I'm going somewhere. Just watch these Nikes work. Ow. Okay? So, some of you all. <laughs> some of you guys, there's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That could've, you could have known this person since childhood. Okay? But some of you all, this person could have actually had a child. Um, in the last two years, there was some type of talks around a child that this person possibly had to get some type of paternity for. The results are in. But some of y'all, Billy Jean is not they love, is not they son. Okay? And for some of you all, Aries, some of y'all, Billie Jean, little Billie Jean ain't your kid, honey. So whatever it was that was burdening you, I feel like this was a very toxic energy that wanted to hold on you, that's been trying to manipulate you with children. So you guys are freeing yourself during that, uh, from that in the month of October, okay? Some of you all are indecisive on should I move, should I keep giving this Pisces a chance? Should I give the Libra a chance? Is this Scorpio going to ruin my fucking life because I found this sense of peace? <laughs> and they talking about a new beginning and they going through financial issues. So wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> Are you going to come in as a disturbance in my life because I've worked my ass off to elevate to the, get to the point where, I, where I've come. And I'm not, I'll be damned if any motherfucker going to fuck that shit up with me. So some of you all are being defensive towards offers. Some of y'all got a new offer from an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. But the reason why you can't be fully accepting is because you still need to make a judgment, possibly regarding a Sagittarius. Something that you can't get over from your past. And I feel like it's bringing fears into the sector. Uh, it's bringing fears into your life when it comes to how you let people into your world. It's like you you. Aries, it's kind of like you be ready to you be ready to stab a motherfucker before they even get into your life, okay? A lot of you all are getting clarity on the things that you already know. You are the high priestess, okay? For some of you all, you're going to find out that that damn Scorpio got a whole lot of options and they codependent on people to take care of them. So you're removing yourself. Again, because you are the motherfucking high priest. You're removing yourself. Some of you all are waiting on um, some type of situation to be revealed. And it's going to be revealed regarding a Virgo. Aries, some of y'all friends ain't your friends. Some of you guys could be cutting off uh, friends and uh, dealings with people who could have came back to reconcile or came back around into your life in the month of August. For some of you all, this person could have came back in the month of September. And I feel like some of y'all got some air sign female that came into your life to be nosy. I feel like this person only wants to get in your good graces to... Figure out what it is that you're doing. If somebody wants to imitate your flow, some of y'all got a whole little minion out here trying to act like you to keep your ex. But the only thing your ex could think about is you. This person could be another Aries or a Taurus, okay? This could be this person's child's mother or father. But someone is trying to be just like you. This person could have also been responsible for some type of black magic use in the past to send you some type of waves of confusion, Aries. There's a need for you guys to protect your energy in the month of October because people who are, you, you got this glow up energy coming, Aries. I don't need everything. And people is trying to come for you, kid. So some of you are, and it's because you walked away from them, you moved away from them. So they want to bring you back to this place of mental disturbance they want to bring even though you don't want this motherfucker for some of y'all that this person wants to fight over and argue over some of y'all have been walked away from a situation some of you all could be neighbors or live right next door to someone who you used to date this person could be a scorpio i feel like this person this person could have this person could have their girlfriend or their spouse that keeps trying to start an argument with you, Aries. And the only thing that you want to do is be happy. You want to get to this motherfucking money. You planning on starting your business. Some of you all, if you have your own business, business is flourishing this time, which you're jumping out of the for, okay? So Aries is definitely in their power. A lot of you all are freeing yourself from a situation that could have involved, again, another fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Some of you all have real friends to you that are that are genuine people that you're pushing away. And maybe you don't even realize that you're pushing these people away, but some of y'all are pushing away your help in the month of October, trying to do everything yourself. And it's going to become very overwhelming for some of you all. 
Some of y'all are pushing away some type of collaboration with another person. This could be a fire sign, Cap uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They, they could be extremely flourishing if you open up to receive it. But some of you all are afraid because you're still healing from some shit that you put down, but people involved still ain't fully put down and still trying to bring drama into your world. So a lot of you all, this could actually be what's, what's sparking this need or want to move and just completely start over. Some of y'all are going to be moving somewhere where there's water. I want to move somewhere where it's warmer. So if you live somewhere where it's cold, I see you moving somewhere where it's warm. I heard Dallas. I heard Austin. Atlanta. Mississippi. Florida. Denver. Arizona. Minnesota, Idaho, Arkansas, okay? So some of you all, there may be talks about you moving um down south. Some of you all are walking away and completely closing the cycle when it comes to reconciling some type of family situation. A lot of you all are walking away from water signs and possibly meeting another damn water sign and you're skeptical about it because you like... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I just got out of a situation, okay? But one of these damn options out of all of the options that you have, Aries, I do see in the month of October somebody get chose, okay? And I feel like somebody's just not taking no for an answer. There will be clarity given on a situation that could have left you in this space of um in this space of not knowing which way or how to move next. Especially if you were dealing with a cancer or a Scorpio or a Virgo or a Libra, or Gemini. There will be light shed on the situation, possibly with somebody doing dark magic and shit as well. Some of y'all, this person, whoever reconciled with you as on a friend level, who came into your life, they're attached to somebody who was doing some type of magic work on you. And to be honest with you, the, whoever's doing that, whoever was doing the Aries, this person is not confident in their own damn shit. They were doing it from a space of disillusionment. They damn self, so they shit is all over, all over the place. What's happening is that this person is getting their ass whooped, and things are still turning around in your favor. So you may be feeling like somebody's watching you, okay, or stalking you. Some of y'all have a Sagittarius and a Leo who truly misses you to death, okay? I feel like this person made a bad, a wrong turn. I heard a wrong turn. This person made a wrong turn, but now they want to turn around and come fix it, Aries, because they don't want to be without you, okay? Some of you all could also be finding out that you're pregnant after possibly reconciling, possibly with a earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. In August, some of y'all are finding out that y'all are pregnant in the month of October. Congratulations, Mocha Love the Kids. And others of you who are artists, there's an offer. Artists, models, if you work in the public eye, Spirit is saying that you're getting ready to be presented with an opportunity, baby. That is going to be very, I feel like it's something that you're going to have to build. You're going to have to work very hard and be patient with it. But that patience and your ambition is going to pay out very well for you. And I feel like it's going to be starting in the month of October. Some of you all have been waiting on the fruits of your labor to come in, baby. Here it comes. Whatever it is that you've been waiting on, baby. Working on, baby. Here it comes. Some of you all are choosing to walk away from your job as well during this time. Finally, Aries, you're finally choosing to invest that same energy and time into yourself. Um, I do feel that there will be some type of help coming in the form of some type of small, like small. So some of you all may receive some type of um, payout also for something that you were waiting on. I heard two years. Some of y'all could finally get a payout after something that you've been waiting on for the last two years. I heard storage for some of you also. Some of you all could also be waiting on some type of storage claim. Others of you, this could also be some of y'all getting ready to, you've been trying to trying to decide on if you want to take out your 401k or take out monies from your 401k to invest in a small business. I do see that if you do that, it's going to be very flourishing for you, especially if you're doing anything having to do with herbs, anything having to do with you using your hands. So this could be cooking. This could be, um, I heard bonus. Some of y'all are going to get some type of unexpected bonus as well at a job. For others of you, again, there's a Sagittarius that wants to come in and renew a situation with you. They feel left out, especially if you have children with this person. Some of you all, this damn Gemini wants to come in and fix it. They, they've recognized some type of toxic cycle. 
and they want to fix it, Aries, you just like, you don't trust this person. You feel as if your ass is sneaky, okay? For some of you all, you could be dealing with somebody. Some of y'all are dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Leo, or a brand new water sign that you're keeping to yourself. You're keeping things quiet. That's the best way to keep it during this month of October. I feel like as we move into the month of November, a lot of you all are going to become more public with your relationships. But in the month of October, I definitely see Aries just structuring, planning, and actually embracing new things. Somebody's also going to get ready to get a new vehicle. I feel like you've been saving for, uh, saving for a new vehicle or saving for something to show how hard you've worked. And I do see that you guys are going to be receiving positive news regarding moving. For those of you who are thinking about relocating to another city, it looks very positive. I feel like you're being divinely guided to do this. So Spirit is saying just listen to yourself and don't allow others on the outside to, to project their negative opinions and their, you know, their damn concerns onto you. Because for some of you all, this is coming from a space of envy and jealousy from the end. Feel your way throughout the advice that you received this month, Aries. When you feel that little, that little uncomfortable feeling when you got to sit like this and... Oh, just yourself like this and keep moving and get the fuck away from them people. You ain't come, your soul ain't sitting right with that shit. Okay? But understand and discern the difference between loving criticism and that hating shit. That bald headed whole shit. It's a difference. Okay? So this is what I have for you, but I do see overall love coming in for you guys and you guys being anxious <laughs> on if you should keep investing in the situation with that water sign. You love this damn air sign, but they send you in this space of anxiety, depression. You can't sleep because you know that you need to leave a situation. You're tired of investing in it, but you don't know how to speak the fuck up. So instead, you juggle. Some of y'all just gonna have to do the Capricorn toys where I go. You juggle, but you're going to find out that the person that you're juggling with ain't shit because somebody's third party got a baby on the way. That's the T, okay? So if you need a personal reading, hit me up below. And you guys let me know how this resonates for the month of October. I will see you guys again here mid-month. Peace, love, and light. Namaste. And bye, booze. Bye. If you need the uh, personal, again, that information can be found within the description. If you have not already, please follow me on Instagram at mocha underscore love underscore tarot, where I do weekly elementals. I've actually been trying to break it up sign by sign to do things differently for the week. I got to go there today. So jump on over to the other side. I love you all. <laughs> Toodles, boo.